Hello and welcome to the next Plum Pot tutorial video where uh, today I'll be showing you how easy it is to um, order your PCB from a PCB manufacturer. Now that you have finished designing your PCB, let's order it! <laughs> So for this video, I'll be showing you how to order your PCBs with PCBWay. Now PCBWay is a Chinese-based PCB manufacturer who focuses on prototyping and low volume orders. So it's perfect for people like you and me, right? <laughs> PCBWay is actually running a really cool promotion at the moment. It's for new members, so if it's your first time ordering from them, they're going to give you a $5 coupon towards your first order. Now, if you see how cheap their prices are, <laughs> this in essence means that your first order will be free. The first thing we need to do before placing our order is to prepare our design files. Um, these files are called Gerber files in the PCB world. <laughs> um, similarly to image files, our PCB design also contains many layers that need to be kind of exported in a way that the PCB manufacturer understands and can then use to manufacture our PCB. So to prepare the Gerber files, open up KiCad and let's use the same design we've been using throughout this tutorial series. Open up the PCB file, then go and click plot. This will open up a plot window to export our files. On the left hand side here are the layers of our design that we want to export. So you can leave it on the default ones and these are the most important for our basic design. So these F and B stand for front and back and uh, CU is the copper layers. The paste is the layers showing where the solder paste needs to go. So obviously on, on all the pads of the components. The um, Silk S is the silk screen, so that is the normally the writing, the labels, and uh, anything other, other text that you put on your board. Um, the mask is showing where we want the pads, where we want the copper exposed. Normally, all of the copper would be covered with a what they call a mask, but on this layer, we need to show where the copper needs to be exposed so we can solder our components on. And then this layer, the edge.cuts, if you remember, is the layer we used to put our board outline so that the manufacturer knows where to cut the boards. In the middle here, we have a few other settings that we could play around with, but for now, we can leave them on default and maybe we'll go into more detail about them in future videos. But one very important aspect that you need to set is the output directory. Make sure you set that to a location you are aware of and a location that, you know, makes logical sense that you want to store your stuff. You'll see on our footprints that actually the footprints have holes and none of these layers will specify to the manufacturer what size these holes need to be and where they need to be drilled. So we need to generate drill files. This is done over here. Click drill files and make sure that the path over here is the same as the one you've specified for the other Gerber files. Once again, we can leave all of these as default. We don't need to change anything. Click generate drill file. And now the relevant files have been generated. You'll see it's a .drl, which maybe you've guessed stands for drill. <laughs> click close. And finally, let's click plot. To generate our Gerber files. You can see all of the files that have been generated with a .gbr extension for Gerber. And if you go to the location that you specified, you should find all your files here. All the Gerber files and your draw files. Then we need to just simply put them all in a zip file as most uh, manufacturers accept the files in a zip folder. Oops, don't do that. <laughs> then just rename it probably to your project name. Then you can easily identify it later. And now our files are ready for ordering. So let's do just that. 
navigate to the pcbway.com website and if you're new then join make an account to make use of the five dollar coupon which in essence is a free prototype order once you're signed in come over to the home page and click quote now then click over here where it says quick order pcb gerber, gerber viewer <laughs> This opens up a quoting page where you can specify certain ways that you want your PCB to be manufactured. It looks a bit intimidating at first, but once you get more experience, you can play around with some of these settings. For instance, here you can change your color of your solder mask and your silk screen for cosmetic reasons. <laughs> then there's other things that you could play around with, but for us, for now, the default settings are perfect. So if you click here, add Gerber file, we can then navigate to our Gerbers, which we just generated, and open them up. And you'll see that our Gerbers are being loaded into the system and we can actually view our board over here. PCB Way also does this really handy thing that they will check your Gerbers for you and let you know actually if there's any mistakes that they've noticed and they'll help you fix it. On the right hand side here you can see some details about the pricing and build time. So it will take them 24 hours to make 5 boards because if you look down here we are ordering a quantity of 5. Then over here we can specify our shipping details. So you can find your country on the list and then specify your preferred delivery carrier. So for us, DHL is okay, and it would cost us $18 for delivery. So in the breakdown here, you can see that the PCB cost is actually only $5, and our shipping is $18. And if you're obviously a newcomer, you get this $5 for nothing, because <laughs> you get a $5 coupon when you sign up, then actually you'll just be paying for shipping. So now we can click Save to Cart, and it will add our order to the cart. And from your shopping cart, as you would on any other shopping site, simply click proceed to checkout to continue with your payment and then your order will be processed. And that's it. You have successfully ordered your first PCB board. In a few days, you can look forward to a nice package in the post, which will contain your bare PCBs ready for you to populate with the components that you did your breadboard prototype with, probably. And that's it for this video. Be sure to keep a lookout for future Plum Pot tutorial videos. Uh, this actually will be easier if you subscribe and hit the little bell icon. Then you'll be notified if we come out with any new videos. It also would help us out a lot if you gave our videos a like. And don't be scared to drop us a comment. We love interacting with you and seeing what you guys are up to. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. From myself, Carrie. Bye for now. <laughs>